I'm gonna go talk to the guy who's currently trying to drown his sorrows like I do every day. I'm kidding. Oh, um, he doesn't notice he coming up. And he's putting back drink after drink, but not nearly as well as that one woman did. You, uh, you alright there, buddy? No. She left me. I just kind of glance over at the girl, girl by the table. She okay. shakes her head, knowing what you're doing. Okay. Well, she she left uh, me for uh, like uh, one of those harbingers. Like uh, we've been together for six years. I can't really fix that. One. He takes another drink. My friend, if you keep this up, you won't you won't make it another one. You probably won't make it another minute, actually. Your kidneys will fail. Uh, what is alcohol poisoning? I deserve it. He takes another drink. Okay, what do I need to what do I need to do to just take the drink from his hand? A uh, sleight of hand. Well, uh, okay, give me one second as I pull up my skills. I'm actually going to try to save this man from alcohol poisoning, because I'm a good person. Alright, so, you kind of, like, roughly grab the drink from him. My drink! Stop. I, I, no. Uh, he kind of, like, puts a hand out towards it. Get this back when you're sober. Go make something of your life. Maybe that woman over there at the other table. Uh, he looks over at the other table. And... Their eyes meet for a moment. And he looks back over at you. That's my cousin. He takes a confident step up and walks over to the table. <laughs> Did not just do that. Well, I mean, <laughs> I hate you sometimes, Klaus. Okay, I don't even want it. No. Stop. I don't want to hear their conversation. Just gonna, just gonna leave it at that. Right. <laughs> what else would you like to do? Let's go. Uh, let's go talk to this guy. Just because I'm curious. I I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go over. It's like I have talked to everyone else here. I've beaten someone down, and I'm 90% sure I just caused an incest baby. What is your, what is your gig? Deal. Words. Uh, he kind of just like looks at you as you approach him, shakes his head a little bit, and looks keeps looking around. I, huh, well, since they don't seem like they're showing up, and it's been a little bit, you are new to town, aren't you? Immensely. Huh. Well, you're hoping you, right? Hang on, don't, just, just hold on, hold on. No. Oh, uh, well that's too bad. Alright. He just keeps looking around. I'm gonna snap my fingers. Buddy, hey. Yes, on. uh, I thought you kind of made that clear that you won't. Looking for hey, just this. Because I'm, hey, just because I'm not doesn't mean, you know, you can't elaborate on what you're doing here. I'm looking to sell information. Ooh. Gossip. I just kind of slide into the chat yeah. next to him. Just like, give me the deeds. 
I managed to find information about the Geomancer and trying to wait for the right person to sell this to you. Hang on, what do I? I'm going to try to roll a diplomacy check to let to get to tell to get him to tell me the information. Did he got a plus five him. because he doesn't know if he's a harbinger. Uh, go ahead and roll. Yeah, uh, no is that he's being kept in some safe by his sister. It's rather interesting that she's been keeping him like that, but if you ask around town enough, apparently she's been made, making sure that everybody keeps quiet. Thank you, my good friend. I'm just gonna put five. I'm just gonna put five gold on the table. Buy yourself a drink. Uh, he takes the gold and nods to you. Going to immediate, and I'm just and just like that, I'm going to walk out of the bar and wait right here. <laughs> Back to grits. So grits. Um, after the. Cat stopped attacking your face. Lydia lets you know the only boat that you would really be able to get is a rowboat with that price range. Um, oh, a raft. I'm so I'm really sorry about this, but I gotta get away from the computer for like five seconds. Gotta grab something from downstairs. Be right back. Hold on. A laptop comes and just like slams into Grit's face as everything goes black. <laughs> black Rose. I guess while I wait for him to get back, I'm just gonna sit here and just look. I'm just gonna talk to this chick. That oh, chick hello. Back. Yeah. Uh, she is wearing rather like, um, flamboyant armor. There's feathers covering the shoulders of it. And... It's like long draping and very interesting in design. What brings you here? I haven't seen you around before. I'm uh, just, you know, stuff kind of floated in with the tide, literally. Ah. Oh. That's actually how I ended up here, too. If you, uh, I'm guessing you, were you shipwrecked like I was, or? I'm back. Uh, Black Rose continues talking as the laptop that slammed into Grits' face falls away. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So, the only thing really within your price range would be a rowboat. Uh, from what you told me about the other ship, this one would be a lot harder to sink than that one. Okay, but could I guess sail if I turned in the other ship? Uh, where's your other ship? Uh, honestly, I'm pretty sure I could physically drag it here. Uh, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, give me a sec. Uh, Grits physically drags the ship over here. Uh, uh, leaves the two unconscious, curled-up people on the shore. Uh, one of them... Actually, you notice that as you come back, there's only one unconscious person. And the other person and the ship are gone. God fucking damn it. Wait, well, this is why we can't have nice things. I'm gonna go back, but I'm gonna walk past the shop and go out to the dock. Alright, so you walk past that and go off to the dock. You look out and you see... Uh, 
a rather you know what? um it looks like a rather nice um sailing ship. Um the sails of it are currently taken down and you do see paddles in there. Uh as I see this, I'm gonna look over it. Does this look like a very decent sailing ship? Uh yes. I'm gonna go back into the shop. And I'm gonna say to Lydia, uh, seems one of my comrades absconded with, uh, this piece of shit. But, uh, who, who does that boat out there, uh, belong to? Oh, that's, um, for me, for personal travel. Dang. Are there other ports, like, where other boats are? No reason. Uh, in town, no. Um, I am able to call them from the depths, however. Whenever I make a sale. Oh, so you keep the boats safe. Yes. Damn. She kind of just like look, looks at you as you... Wait a minute. Does this mean that any boat that would be docked at the island uh, with that, without uh, being sunk there or being watched over by you would be fair game? Um, well, I wouldn't suggest stealing any boats, um, especially any of the Hobingers. I rather want them to leave. Uh, can you give me a deal if I got the Harbinger? Actually, where's the Harbinger's boat? You have it, right? Uh, there is one of them up to the north. I oh, believe that they... the rest of them in town have kept those safe, much like I do mine. Okay. Do you know who owns the one to the north? Uh, n no, it's just one of the random effect. I believe it's a woman that, <sighs> well, after she was out here looking around for a little bit, she really just stayed in the bow for a while and drunk and drunk and drunk. She's actually pretty good for local business. <laughs> Do you think she would mind if uh, she had a couple of hands on deck? I don't really know. You could always ask her. Or at least a steadier hand on deck. Yeah, uh, would she be in the tavern at this time? Uh, at this time... She probably would have already finished up drinking all of the drinks and walked off. I'll go see if I can catch her at the boat. Right. The best part about working on things that you don't own is that you don't have to pay for it when it gets broken at sea. Yes, that is one of the better things. Anyway, I head off to the north, where I think her boat is. Alright. I mean, just... What is that token? <laughs> uh, That's which wrong. one? Waldo's twin, like... Unimpressive brother. Obviously. I'm I'm curious about which one you're talking about. This one. <laughs> which one? This one. Oh. He he's chill, man, he's chill. <laughs> I love that mustache. I'm going to get a closer look. You take a closer look at this man from your conversational state with this darkness woman. I mean the oh, no, no. Why did I say darkness? With this um feathery woman. Ow. Yeah, he's interesting looking. He is ca um he's carrying a large gun. Anyways, grits. You look out and you see another boat that's rather similar to the one that you saw um, over at the other dock.
Don't see the woman anywhere? Uh, no you don't. Damn. I'm gonna talk to Knives Mickey here and ask, uh, Hey, have you seen the town drunk? The town- the town drunk? The female one. Who owns that boat? Oh, um... I mean the woman visiting town. Uh, I believe that she's over at the, uh... Public resting place. The public housing. That. What'd you say? I asked him if he could point me to it. Oh, he points at the building right here. Where? Right there. Oh. Okay, so I go over and head into that building. Is this a door? Yep. Okay, I open the door. Unless it says, do not open the door or I will shoot you. Um... You open up the door, and you hear the sounds of several snowing people. Do you think it would be a cool prank if I just went into the room and just started randomly chopping at one of the beds just to wake him up? Nah. They probably wouldn't think it's cool. I'm gonna go to the south and uh, open up this door. Uh, you look in here and you see... It looks like a little dining area. There's people eating, talking. Um, it seems like this place is really a communal area. There aren't individual houses. Um, it's much more of a live together kind of deal. Uh, I'm gonna look at this woman right here and I'm gonna say, uh, tap on her shoulder and say, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Uh, do you know who happens to own that boat to the north? Oh. That would be... The drunken woman. I... Don't know her name. The bartenders would probably know. Do you know where she is? I was told she was in the public housing, but I didn't want to wake up someone randomly. Oh. I... She... has a... well, most unique feature about her that you would probably recognize her by. Is this very massive sword that she carries around. Really ornate. I... Thanks. Bye. Bye! Go north here. Go away? Uh, north, where my token is. Uh, I'm right here. I... Uh, oh, finally. I had to do stuff, okay. Alright. So... Grits... fades to black again.